I am enlightened. As it comes to the Buddha's path or the path of spirituality, I have done what I had to do. That doesn't mean to say that I know everything. That doesn't mean to say that... I mean, that doesn't mean to say a lot, actually. But what it does mean to say is that I fully understood the process of death. And that's actually the most surprising thing that I've gotten out of my realization. And enlightenment, of course, is just realization. That's what it is. It's realization. You realize something that was already here, always. You just realized it. Oh, wow, I just realized this. That's it. You're done. You'll have to turn up your volume because I don't have an external microphone. I'm recording this with an iPhone. So if it's quiet, I apologize. This is how it's going to have to be for... For, from now on, or for now on, or for some time, until I upgrade my studio or whatever. So, deal with it. So, the most surprising thing that I've learned or gathered from my realization is that this is only to do with death, actually. So, I was watching a video by Sadhguru. He was in Kashi, the land of the most sacred city in the world on planet Earth. It's a consecrated city. If you don't know what that means, watch my previous videos. And he was walking around through the city and I was carefully observing him, how he's dealing with people and people are meditating and I was watching all of that and he was giving an offering to this lingam and various other things and people are chanting and then he's giving a talk and then a later part of the video he's going to a cremation ground Kashi that's like a very famous place that for 2,000 something years this cremation, this the fire has not been uh, extinguished. People are being burned, uh, you know, the corpses are being burned there. And as that part of the video came through and I just watched it very carefully, suddenly my whole attention and, per and perception shifted. I understood the reality of nature. And I realized this is what enlightenment is. It's only death. It's just about death. You're living this life confused, not knowing where you'll go after death. So people make up these funny, people make up these con confusions in their mind, like, oh, you're gonna go to hell, hell, or you're gonna go to heaven, or you're gonna do this or that, or you're just gonna shut off and there's gonna be emptiness. No, you're wrong. You don't actually don't know what happens. And if you don't know what happens at the end of the game, the game here is gonna be very confusing for you. So if you don't know the ultimate goal of what, why you're going to a job or why you're doing anything, it's going to be very hard and painful. Pain <clears throat> painful for you. So as I'm watching this video, I see this monk sitting on a, a cotton cloth in front of the corpse, a burning corpse. And he's sitting there and he's meditating and I could see he's, he's striving. That's, you know, he's trying to break free. And what is he trying to break free of? Well, for lifetimes, you have been involved in actions, in various ways you've lived in this world and you've done various things, many things you've done. And it clouds your consciousness. It adds onto your consciousness. It's like, you know, if you have a, a basement and you go into the basement and it's like a storage unit for you and lots of clutter and boxes everywhere and carpets and all this stuff. So you can't see the floor. The floor can't be seen. But once you start the process of cleaning up your basement, and let's say you fully clean up your basement, you totally remove everything that is on the floor, and there's nothing on the floor that remains except the concrete or whatever the floor is made out of. Let's say it's concrete. Well, then you have a perfectly clean floor. You can see the floor clearly as it is for what it is. Just like that, when you clear out your consciousness, there is only light or there is only the truth or there is only what is. So that's it. Um, I see death clearly. And this is the only part that you have to know about or realize or understand as it relates to enlightenment. If you want to attain enlightenment, as you should, this is by far the most important thing that you can do with your life. Not make a billion dollars, not have a stable job, not have family or kids, not be fit or athletic or healthy in any way. It doesn't matter. Those things don't matter. You're going to die and you're going to live again. Okay?
So it's important for you to break free, break free from all of this. Um, I'm going to stop using filler words like um and ah uh and all this stuff. You're going to see me. I'm going to be an expert communicator. One of the best in the world. Give me a, a year's time. I'm going to be very skilled in the act of communication. So... <clears throat> As a wise man, I'm going to share this with you. I'm going to impart this on you. If you want to attain enlightenment, the wisest thing you can do is to investigate death for yourself. The most important way to investigate death, of course, is to look within, inward. But it can also be an aid or it can help you to open your eyes and look out there into the world and really investigate what death is, how death is. I don't mean to say logically understand the process of death, although that could be useful. But watch cremations, go to a cremation ground if you can, go to a funeral, never miss a funeral. Watch videos on YouTube on cremations and that whole process, not in a sick or perverted way, just to observe the nature of reality. Like, what is this? Why is this the case? You're living this life just to be dead, just to die and for your corpse to be burned. And what happens after your corpse burns? Where do you go? You don't know that. That's the most fundamental and important thing you have to understand and know. By the way, I don't really know what happens after me after I die. I die. The, the technique wise or the actual process I know that once my physical body dies, if something were to happen to me right now, the, my life process, my life energy would leave. And I would be fully conscious of that. There would be no hesitation in my mind, there would be no confusion, there would be no fear. Simply, I would just leave ex or exit the body. And then, from then on, I have no idea. Um, no, it's not entirely true. <laughs> As it relates to my attainment, I still have like residue or taints left in me. I still have this residue that's that's slowly starting to come out. And yesterday I was meditating, this was kind of bothering me. Like why why do I not know what's gonna happen to me after I die? Or like exactly what's what happens. And as I was investigating, I could see that uh, as I'm letting go of this body, that the parts of me will simply decay, fade away, and there will be emptiness, there will be nothing, there won't be me anymore. It takes a, a huge amount of fuel for me to live on and carry on living, and you know, that's the karma that I have for this lifetime, that's the remaining karma that I have. If I were to burn that right away, right now, today, I would, tomorrow I would not wake up, today I would be dead, or tonight I would be dead. So if I were to be born again, if I wanted to be born again, I would have to take on someone else's fuel. I would have to find fuel somehow. That's what Sadhguru did. <clears throat> I'm not willing to do that, I don't think. Maybe I will, I don't know. Uh, I'm just fascinated by this whole process, how this all works. But if I were to die, then of course my aggregates would simply break apart, fall apart. and. Like I said, there would, be, there would be emptiness. There is no me, essentially. So, <laughs> I will fully understand this process and I will explain this to you in great detail. As of yet, I'm learning. So why am I sharing this with you again? Um, simply for you to understand what death is and the death process. Death is enlightenment. Enlightenment is death. If you know what death is, what happens after death, you are enlightened. Or at the very least, if your heart can just understand the simple nature of the universe, that everything decays and everything dies, boom, you're there. <clears throat>